Agitations within the APC as members voice opinion on the caretaker committee's mandate and the deadline of their tenure will speak with a member of the committee tonight. And the world say looks on as the American presidential election is yet to be decided two days after voting ended and protests now erupt in several cities in the United States. Hello everyone and welcome to Politics Today on Channel Television. I'm Sean Kimbalo here in Lagos. It's the second day after voting ended in the United States and no winner is declared just yet in the presidential election as counting continued two days after election day, slowed by large numbers of mail-in ballots amid the coronavirus pandemic. Mr. Joe Biden was leading in Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona, and closing in on uh, Mr. Donald Trump, the president in Georgia and Pennsylvania. Multiple uh, Trump lawsuits and a recount request would have to succeed and find, in some cases, tens of thousands of invalid ballots to reverse the result if Biden does prevail. Well, uh, demonstrations now over the integrity of the United States presidential election started early today in Philadelphia and other cities as ballot counting dragged on in a handful of states that would decide the outcome. By the way, another Nigerian American has joined the list of Nigerians who have emerged as winners in the ongoing U.S. 2020 elections. Just like Oye Owolewa and Esther Agbaje, they have so far recorded success. In Namdi Chukwocha is the winner of a seat in the Delaware State House under the Democratic Party. About nine Nigerians were in the race vying for different positions at the federal, state, and local levels. Tonight, our attention is on the internal squabbles of the APC, the ruling party in Nigeria. We get into that in a short while after your stories in our political roundup. President Muhammad Buhari is asking traditional rulers to use their access to those in their domain and magnify the efforts of the government in meeting the demands of the youth in their various kingdoms. Of At a meeting in the State House with a delegation from the National Council of Traditional Rulers of Nigeria, led by the Sultan of Sokoto, the President also received the recommendations from the leaders following the looting and destruction of property across the country while reminding the monarchs of their role in helping maintain peace and security in the country. We cannot allow anybody or group to threaten the peace or sabotage these efforts. Strong, transparent efforts are underway to address those rogue elements of the Nigerian police force. The Enugu State Governor Ifani Uguangi is asking men and officers of the Nigeria Police Force to return to their duty posts across the state. <laughs> Governor Uguangi made the appeal during a visit to the senior police officer's mess to commiserate with the members of the command over the loss of security personnel, grievous bodily injuries and destruction of security infrastructure. The good people of the Enugu State are before now enjoying your excellent policing services and wish that you come fully on stream and return to all the security posts in the state. Enugu State Government understands that certain operational challenges are inevitable in the face of the damage done to some security infrastructure during the day end and is willing and ready to support you to overcome them. 
The Kaduna State Governor Nasser El Rafai today visited his Lagos State counterpart, Babajide Samwondu, at the Lagos House Marina to condole with him over the extent of damage carried out by the rampaging youths who took advantage of the end sounds protests to loot public and private property. Governor Nasser El Rafai assures Mr. Samwondu of supporting him in this effort to get Lagos State back. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. But before we get into our discussion for tonight, let's get you some news just coming in from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Today, the commission has met and has come up with an update on the suspended by elections across uh, the country. The commission uh, reviewed the situation after it suspended the October 31st by elections. The commission said uh, it suffered extensive damage to and vandalization of its local government offices and facilities, including the areas where the by-elections are scheduled to hold. So it said uh, it will continue its consultation with stakeholders and has not come up with a definite date for the conduct of the by-elections. That's the news just coming in from INEC. So let's go into our conversation for tonight, everyone. Early this year, the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, experienced some of the most turbulent period since it was formed. The crisis speaks to the point that the neck of the party, which is perhaps the highest organ, had an emergency meeting where the Oshomali leadership was resolved in June this year and a caretaker committee of a 13 member was formed and the governor of Yobo said May Malaboni was selected to lead the new leadership for a period of six months. The caretaker committee has its mandate, and about five months later, agitations are now rife in the party, some already going to court, and the question is, is the party falling apart again? Or the caretaker committee called to rescue the party also needs to be rescued. Tonight, we're being joined by the Secretary of the Kiatika, APC Kiatika Committee and from our Minister, Senator Hakpan Uduere, a us from Abuja Studio. Thank you so much, distinguished, for coming tonight on the program. It does look uh, that it's been some very troubling past few months for your party. Uh, since June, when the APC Kiatika Committee was set up by the neck of the party, how do you describe the journey to reposition your party? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, we swung into action by trying to reconcile every segment of the party and the stakeholders of the party. We went all, 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 all uh, over Nigeria to meet with stakeholders, prominent citizens, founders, leaders of this party with uh, progressive governors to uh, bring peace to the party. And we are uh, privileged to be given this assignment in time like this by Mr. President and NEC. And that's what we did. And after the um, nationwide tour to bring leaders together, uh, we were faced with a Edo election. We inherited a Edo election. And after a Edo election, and we have to conduct uh, primaries for UNDO. And after the primaries, we have to reconcile the aspirants to, to come to one fold so that we can win the UNDO election. And before that, there was a lot of crisis also in uh, Edo. And a uh, committee was formed. And that committee actually was aided by the former Senate President, uh, Senator Ken Namadi. We try to bring everybody together so we can win a uh, um, Edo. But the, we face a situation in Edo, it's like packing the spilled milk, and we struggle as uh, much as we, we, we could. Then after that, we were also faced with uh, the by-election issue to conduct primaries to field in those uh, positions that you have just said the INEC announced. Uh, I'm sure the 
uh, NEC did not envisage the crisis that have befallen uh, the, the country uh, and uh, the elections, taking into consideration the election of Edo, Undo, and other by election and the crisis in the party. So we have done well, we've reconciled so many uh, 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 states, and we also uh, we brought in a lot of people to the party, like uh, the former national chairman of uh, the PDP, uh, Senator Gamade. We have also reconciled and brought in uh, the former Speaker of the House of Representatives. And uh, we have brought in a lot of House of Rep members and senators. And we have reconciled Aquaibum. We've come together in Aquaibum. We've come together in uh, um, uh, Cross River. We have reconciled, uh, right, Honorable Amici, the Minister of Stand Transport, with the Minister of Petroleum. And we have uh, carried out the president's instruction by writing to all the states to withdraw legal actions against the party or members of the party so we can uh, be one. Some comply, some there they is a judiciary pronouncement on some of them. And after that, we, you, you are a living witness of what is going on in the country, the NSAS protests and all that. So uh, I neg in their wisdom did not emphasize that. So that's what we have done. And I want to talk about the chairman of this party, who is God sent as embodiment of humility. It's a man of peace and reconciliation. So that's how far we have gone. Okay, if you look at all what you've highlighted here today, uh, part of it is that the mandate you have is to speak to some aggrieved members of the party, especially those who have gone to court. But we understand now that there are cases in court. Uh, would you describe as success considering some of the lingering crises in some states and those who have gone to court? Yes, we, went, we also... We... We, even though we, we, we actually use the stick and carrot approach in most of the cases, uh, especially those with uh, bigger personalities, thinking that uh, we can bring them together. Like in Ekiti State, after what you heard, we, inaug we inaugurated uh, His Excellency Malam, the RUFI Committee, to reconcile them and all that. So that's what we, we also have done. Uh, what we were asked to do. We wrote letters to all the states uh, asking the state chairman to ask their members to withdraw uh, cases in court. And uh, failing, uh, having, I mean, failing to do that, we, we have uh, given them mandate, some we've given them mandate to do the needful as stipulated by the Constitution. So, but there are some of them, a number of them that are still having their cases in court. What would you do to that? Um, we will do, if, uh, 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 well, we will do um, exactly what the deck asks us to do. We, uh, we give you some time. We, we try to do reconciliation. I think after that, we will ask the, the states Finally, we cannot resolve it to maybe to suspend them or to, to, to expel them from the party. It does look like you still have a lot of reconciliation work to do. And considering the fact that you have a six-month tenure in office, would you be looking at having an extended time to do this job? That is not for us to determine. It's not for us. The caretaker committee, as, 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 as uh, constituted, does not have power to extend its tenure. That is not for us. It's for, the, for, it's for, for, for NEC. We are not canvassing for it. That is not uh, uh, a decision to make. If you look at the composition of the committee, you, you realize in the wisdom of uh, NEC, you have, the, you have almost three governors there. You have the governor of your... Uh, Yobe Steru is the national chairman. You have the governor of uh, Oshun State. You have the governor of uh, Niger State. You have serving senators. You have House of Representatives. You are, all of us are very busy in uh, private and de de devil. But we find this privileged position to, to reposition our party to make sure we have a party, a strong, reliable platform called APC. 
We'll, we'll take a break, Senator Odoria, and when we come back, we'll look at a task set before you in June of this year. It's about five months afterwards. Have you been able to achieve that? What is left for you and the way forward, especially that the bat party now battles with some internal squabbles and people who are angry? We'll ask you about that when we return from this break, everyone. Join us again. I urge all party members to heed to the appeal by our leader, President Muhammad Buhari GCFR, on his call to all aggrieved members who have instituted various cases in the courts to please withdraw such cases in the interest of our great party. Change is inevitable and disagreement on issues and concepts are an integral part of human and institutional relationship. As a political party built on strong ideology and parading men and women of enduring principle and integrity, we must prepare for real and anticipated changes and their consequences. The outcomes of changes that involves in our party politics must be decided by us. As the interim managers and leaders of our party, our priority will be the recognition of the need to act appropriately and accept, acceptably in the overall interest of the party. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. We're talking about the internal politics of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC in Nigeria. Um, uh, the Secretary of the Party's National Ketaka Committee, Senator Hakman Oduere, has been speaking with us from Abuja studio. Let's continue with our conversation with uh, the Senator. Senator Oduere, part of your term of reference is to organize a national convention when do you hope to achieve this? Yes, we have started. But uh, when we resumed, we realized that uh, court, the, so, uh, one court or two or three of them of uh, judiciary competence actually have ripped up some of our constitution because of case, uh, some cases that was instituted by some members against one or two persons. We, if we, we have to really look at the constitution and how to succeed to do it. We have taken into consideration the delegate uh, elections, those who are who, who, who supposed to be uh, at the convention. And then we, have, we are very careful in the sense that we don't want to have a, a crisis. A crisis is not for you to organize a constitution you cannot build a house on a, the sand, a, a whole story building. You must have to have a solid foundation. Because if you don't do that, the individuals that are sponsoring crises in our party will actually institute uh, illegal action against us just to derail us. So we're very, very careful. Uh, our, our ultimate aim uh, is to organize a constitution, and we're working uh, towards that. Uh, we're consulting with stakeholders. We're consulting with the governor, consulting with leaders of the party. We're consulting with uh, uh, the president, the leader of the party. We're doing that. So once they approve what we're doing, then uh, we are good to go. When do you hope that this will happen? Uh, we'll go to uh, NEC for, for approval. We, it's NEC that will give us the final approval. And when will this next NEC meeting be? as soon as possible, before, maybe this month. Because uh, the consideration is that by the end of December or so, uh, your six-month tenure will expire. Are you afraid that uh, should that happen, it will uh, jeopardize the work you have done in the past months? No, we, we are actually not afraid because we're not seeking ourselves. We're seeking the interest and stability of our party. We have nothing to be afraid. Is the national chairman going to be afraid? A saving governor. Is the, 
governor of, of, of Niger State going to be afraid? Is the governor of Oshun going to be afraid? Is the sitting senators going to be afraid? As of men, what will they be afraid of? We are given this responsibility, and it's a real privilege, like I've said, to stabilize this party. You're talking about crisis. We need to stabilize this party. It's not because of sentiment. We just, we throw our party into the a burning fire. That's what we're doing. We're very careful. We're taking into consideration the, the party constitution, how to do it peacefully and to come out successfully. That's the, the, the end. That's the ultimate end. No, the, the ultimate the, aim is to bring a peaceful, cohesive, strong, powerful, united, pro progressive party. So the worry here, Senator, is if one of the biggest jobs of the caretaker committee was to conduct a national convention and you were given six months to achieve part of that and you have not been able to do that, does it worry you, does it give you some concern that you have not been able to achieve what you set out to achieve in the first place? Chewu, if I invited you to do a convention, a, a party con convention under a serious crisis, as I'm talking to you now, uh, you have a situation where members don't even have a membership card. How are you going to elect delegates? You have some people who have left the party. Example, Atiku Obaka, His Excellency, the, the former vice president, left the party. You have Senate President, Bukala Sariki, Senator Bukala Sariki, who left the party. You have former go, uh, the, sorry, the gov uh, governor of Sogo State who left the party. With their supporters, and you have other people who are coming into the party. How are you going to reconcile that? And you have a lot of states with parallel escorts. And one of our mandate is to reconcile this, to have a, a united party. If you are to elect the delegates, how do, you do, how do you go about that? If you are given a responsibility, when you look at that responsibility, you go back to those who have given you responsibility and show your, your achievement. And this short period of time, we have achieved so much. We have brought sanity into the party. We've returned the party back to the party secretariat. We are not operating from our houses. We are not operating from our private offices. If you come to our party, it's lively, it's booming. People are happy. You come, you see people in the, in the, in the, in the national office. You can ask questions, the question will be answered. So, I mean, so we have done so it, well. Okay, so Senator, uh, before I go into other areas of the, of the crisis and what happened today, let me ask you, is it part of your mandate of the caretaker committee to bring back some of those whom you've mentioned tonight that left your party back into the fold? We are open. If you're not coming with additional crisis, we are open the political party is like a church or like going to the mosque. You are not restricted. When you confine yourself to the, uh, the ambit of, 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 of the constitution of the party, and we're trying to, to, to do that, we can't stop anybody from coming into the party. Uh, Dukara, the former uh, speaker of House of Representatives, is back to the party. We have other people coming back to the party. The party is getting stronger and stronger. See, in politics, you know, you're not going to um, 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 be free of small crises, people sponsoring uh, petition or going to court. It's part of the destruction. If you remember very well what happened to our party in uh, River State, most of the crisis is not from within the party, it's outside the party. Because uh, the domain you operate from, especially do, uh, the major opposition party, they will make sure that you don't have stability. So right. we have to be very careful. So, we Senator, need to seal all the loopholes so we will not be taken to the cleaners. So you mentioned that, Rivers, quickly, I, I have a few questions before we close. I want, I'd like to ask you. You mentioned, Rivers said, are you able to reconcile the Minister of Transportation and his friend, Senator Magnus Abbey? It's ongoing. 
Okay. So another question I would like to ask, when you said that you're hoping that to, you, to bring back some people back into the party, uh, you mentioned the former speaker, Yakubu Dogara, and you mentioned the name of uh, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and former Senate President Bukola Saraki. Are you hoping, have you reached out to them to wanting to bring them back to the party? Uh, why I mentioned their names is because of the exit of them and their supporters. We're talking about how to revalidate our membership uh, cards, how to return the party back to the grassroots, how to return the pa party back to the, the, the world, how to return the party back to the people. It should be people oriented. People should own this party. What we are, I'm saying is that when they left, they left with their supporters. Now, if you, how, do you, how do you reconcile that? How do, how do you reconcile? And people are coming in. If you come into the party, you're supposed to go to your ward, get the ward, uh, register in your ward, and all that. We are not begging people to join. If, it, if they find it necessary or, you know, to, to come back to uh, where they, 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 they belong, then so be it. But for us to say we are in a campaigning to bring anyone back to the party, no, we're not doing that. Some of them will, will uh, on their own, see reason to come back to the party, a winning party, a party that will win. All right, Senator, quickly. Yeah, Our I mandate have just, is not to go back yeah. looking for them. Mm. Senator, I have just about mm. two questions but before we come, close. If they come back, yeah. we welcome them. Great. I have just about two questions before we close. Uh, a quick one. Um, we wanted to, uh, to clarify um, the issues on the ground, uh, especially as regarding your tenure uh, in office because of some of the things that you have listed, the National Convention. But would you be seeking at the National, at uh, the NEC meeting, an extension of your tenure to achieve some of the things is, you want we, to? That is, that is not, uh, we, we're not supposed to canvas for that. This committee is not canvassing for that. It is left for the neck and the stakeholders of the party to decide. So we are not in any crisis. Those who are bantering about uh, or causing confusion within themselves that we are doing that, we are not in the position to do that. The caretaker committee is not in the position to do that. It's only the neck. It will it will show them our program, what we have done. You need, we not, you need to go and present our scorecards. This is what we have done. Uh, this is what we have done. This is what we have seen. This is what we have we met on ground. This is the constitutional issue. These are these are the things. In their wisdom, if they say do election, uh, do a convention in December, so be it. It's not right. for the committee to start talking about extending. In fact, there is we don't have powers to do that. Senator, Senator, we need to close now, and please help me. Just in 30 or 35 seconds, I'd like you to answer this short question. Are you using the same zoning template that is existing in the party going into the national convention for the offices that are up for election? It's not, again, once again, it's not in our position to do that. It's, that is left for neck. That is left for stakeholders. It's not in our position. That's not part of our mandate. It's not in our position to do that. All right. As we wrap up, Senator Dode, please tell us, there is a growing tension again in your party, similar to what we saw early in the year, which led to the intervention of the caretaker committee. Going forward, and as we wrap up, how do you hope to resolve this, considering that you have just about 30 days to go? Well, um, I don't notice them because the majority of our stakeholders are very ha they are happy about what we are doing. The progressive governors are involved in what we are doing. The major stakeholders are involved in what we are doing. So when you're talking about crisis, uh, I'm taken aback. I don't understand what you mean by crisis. If you have one individual going to court because he's, he's being sponsored, it doesn't mean that we have a crisis. We have a stable uh, presidency. We have a stable party. We have in, in most um, uh, governors in our state are doing very well. We have very st a stable government. All so right. There is no crisis at all. All right. Um, Senator, majority of uh, of, uh, of uh, AP, uh, APC members are very happy with us. The state chairman passed a vote of confidence on us. The neck again. All right. The extent the neck passed a vote of confidence on us. And that, when you talk about crisis, I don't think we have crisis. Senator no Akman, 
Uduede, uh, the Secretary of the APC National Caretaker Committee. It's a pleasure having you on the program and coming to speak about some of the issues in your party. Thank you indeed for coming. I'm most grateful. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how we end the show tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Shion Akimale. Bye-bye.